mother and hurting a child, the Clay County Sheriff vowing domestic violence will not be tolerated, promising those who commit such crimes will be tracked down and arrested. I don't care if that person laid their head in the pits of hell, then we'll go down and kick the gates of hell open and come and get him. Those strong words from Sheriff Daryl Daniels on the arrest today of 36-year-old Kenneth Poitras in a domestic violence murder Sunday in Argyle Forest. Deputies have been watching the suspect's west side home and captured him when he returned there. Within the past 20 minutes, we received this photo of Poitras's wife's car that deputies say he used to get away after the attack. Channel 4's Janice Harris has more from Clay County. Kenneth Poitras sits in jail while the family of his wife, Carticia, has to make funeral arrangements. Deputies say Poitras committed the crimes in Clay County, but was caught in his own home in Duval County. And for this individual to seek solace in Duval County and think that the long arm of the law couldn't reach out that far, I don't care if that person laid their head in the pits of hell, then we'll go down and kick the gates of hell open and come and get him. If you, tr if you try to run from the long arm of the law. Deputies say he murdered his wife on Sunday and tried to kill his mother and their teenage niece. According to family, Curticia and Kenneth had been separated for a year and he was not supposed to be at the house. Now, with Poitras caught, Sheriff Daniels is pleading with anyone in an abusive relationship to get out and get help. If you are a person living out in conditions, and domestic violence conditions or, or in a hostile uh, living conditions, then don't be afraid to walk away from that and seek shelter in a safe place. That report from Janice Harris and Sheriff Daniels said domestic violence calls are a high number of the calls they get on a regular basis. If you know someone who needs help, contact Hubbard House or Quigley House.